Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and I work in Offaly Libraries and you're very welcome along to Storytime as part of our Summer Stars programme. And for this story time, I've chosen this lovely book and it's called Mould Star and it's written and illustrated by Britta Tinkentrup and the publisher is Orchard. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> written and illustrated by Britta Tenkentrup and the publisher is Orchard. Mo lived deep under the ground. He loved his cosy home of burrows, dens and tunnels, but sometimes he felt a little lonely in the dark. Every night, Mole popped his head out of his molehill to say hello to the stars. He sat on his favourite rock, gazing at the beautiful twinkling lights in the sky. One night, as Mole sat on his rock, he saw a dazzling shooting star and quickly closed his eyes to make a wish. I wish I could own all the stars in the world, he whispered. When Mole opened his eyes, he couldn't believe what he saw. There were ladders all around him, leading up into the sky. Mole didn't think twice. He scurried up and down the ladders, collecting the stars one by one and carrying them home. That night, his burrow was full of shimmering starlight. Mole loved his bright new home so much, he wanted to stay there forever. But as the days went by, he started to miss his favourite rock. So one evening, he popped his head out of his molehill and saw... Nothing. The sky was dark. Deer stood in the clearing with tears in her eyes. Where are all the stars? She said. Field Mouse shook his head sadly. My children love to stargaze while I sing their bedtime lullaby. They will be so sad. The stars help me find my way, said Fox. Where can they be? sighed Bear. I have flown far and high, said Owl. The stars are gone. Mole felt terrible. He didn't know the other animals loved the stars as much as he did. He scurried into the trees, hiding himself away. Mole walked deeper and deeper into the forest. What had he done? Then Mole saw something glinting through the trees. A star lay in a puddle. Its light faded and dull. Could it be his special shooting star? Mole bent close. Oh, how I wish I'd never taken the stars, he whispered. The star began to twinkle and ladders appeared. Mole didn't think twice. He rushed back to the clearing, the star lighting his way. I'm sorry, he cried. I took the stars. I wanted them for myself. But now I know the stars belong to everyone. I'm going to put them back. I will help you, said Deer. We will help too, said Field Mouse, Bear, Fox and Owl. The animals worked all through the night. One by one, they put each star back where it belonged. Last of all, Mole placed a special star above his favourite rock. From that night on, it shone brighter than ever, and all the animals in the forest could share the wondrous light of the twinkling night sky. And that concludes that lovely story. It was about friendship, wasn't it? How the friends helped retrieve the star, because they all loved the stars. So Mole had to realise that it couldn't just be him to keep all the stars. Thanks so much for listening in.